Hey, how's it going? Operation Medic Bag, huh? A meme in order to gain the favor of the community. The one that has more than moved on from the game at this point. And then, they've started playing other games. Even games made on diesel adjacent engines. Made in Sweden. But more competent studios. With more love and care put into it than the four Payday games combined. And yes, there's four. I count Crime War to be a mainline game. Sue me. What a bother. The Payday community is split up into several little islands. Everyone wants something else. And everyone wants the Payday game that they're thinking of. No one is happy with the current state of either Payday 2 nor Payday 3. People are getting audibly frustrated. The frustration is at an all-time high. Developers are slaving away at a game that clearly needed another few months in the oven. Meanwhile, their cash cow of a previous game is in a half-functioning state. Game designers, which are clearly not PR trained, argue with prepubescent fans of the game on social media. The PR people, meanwhile, stream with moderation working overtime to make sure that the chat is civil. The community itself, on the other hand, spreads misinformation about certain updates. People keep spamming the same old, same old across forums and communities. The table meme, the player count, the everything. What needs to happen for any of this to get better? Do we really need a huge meme like Operation Medic Bag? No. All of this was just unnecessary. What we really needed, or really need still, are actions. For starters, we've already heard that microtransactions will not be happening this year. That's a good thing. Secondly, supposedly, Allegedly, with the next patch happening sometime this week or next week, DirectX 12 will be integrated into the public build. This should boost performance all across the board for DX12 compatible GPUs. That's another good thing. Thirdly, with the same patch, we're also getting our first taste of what seems to be the new armor we work. A two-plater that always regens back to full as long as each individual plate doesn't break also having less health per armor bar. A little too late, but it's better than nothing. Lastly, blog posts. To be more transparent with the community, they've been doing a lot more blog posts. These blog posts are sometimes full of sweet nothings, other times just regurgitation of what we've already heard from thirds, or just through their own dev diaries. While a good idea for those that don't want to watch videos, I wish that they go a bit more in depth, a bit more in detail. It's not much, but it's better than the three months of radio silence that we've had. Now, when I mentioned at the start that Payday's community is split, I meant that. The game's accessibility meant that the community surrounding the game became very toxic very quickly. Now, this is not a new problem. This sadly has always been a problem. That problem has only gotten worse as the years went on. Their blog posts talk about something that a lot of streamers and a lot of payday YouTube content creators have brought up on occasion. It's the fact that the sense of community isn't quite there in Payday 3. Due to the matchmaking and no server browser, quote unquote server browser, crime net is what people want even though a server browser would be so much more useful. But whatever. All of that just further helps distance people from another. The lack of communication between PlayStation, Xbox, and PC players didn't make things much better either. But I'll one-up that. I feel like the Payda community just hasn't been a thing for quite a while. Looking at the Steam discussions for Payday 2 specifically, it's just a bunch of headless chicken mindlessly running around, shouting at each other, harassing people, and being some of the most intolerable assholes imaginable. Looking at the Twitter interactions between the Payday Funny Man account and their fans, it gets very obvious very quickly that most of the people that they're replying to aren't even adults yet. 
But where does that put us? Doesn't it feel a bit early to wrap something like this up? Yeah, I just don't really know what else to say. I think people don't realize where this game sits right now. Neither the devs nor the fans. On one hand, the doom saying is annoying. Posting the player numbers day in day out is just not funny anymore. On the other, Helldivers 2 just came out. It has 300,000 concurrent players on Steam alone. And while the service can't keep up, and people are upset about that, at least it has peer-to-peer -peer matchmaking. Payday 3 struggled to even matchmake. Payday 3 shot itself on the foot with the launch. The game designer is hesitant to just accept video game standards such as damage buffers and hitscan games didn't help its longevity either. A lot needs to change here. But even with that in mind, some people need to just accept the fact that this game is not for them. Or has never been. And they just need to move on. And in case you want to know a little secret for watching all the way till the end, you can lag out everyone's game by just continuously marking something. Since there's no kicking and no vote kick option, you can do this until everyone in the match either gets single digit frames or until you're sick and tired of it. Good. Should've just invested in medic. Ah! <laughs> Whichever one happens first. Enjoy. <laughs> Hello, Hoxton. <laughs> Appearance. <laughs> God. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, 19, 18. Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. 15, 14. <laughs> we can go even lower. <laughs> yep. I'm at four. <laughs> I'm at four FPS. Uh, 13. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh my god. God. Oh, <laughs>